Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonzalez with Go Analytics, and today we're gonna take a tour of my favorite data visualization tool. Yes, Power BI, let's go. Hey, welcome to 2023. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can stay up to date on all of our awesome videos. All right, Power BI. What the heck is it? Maybe you've heard somebody talking about it or you came across it in an article and you're wondering, how can I use Power BI to make a difference in my business today? And how can I get started on it right now in 2023? If these questions are floating through your mind right now, then this video is for you. Okay, what is Power BI? Well, simply put, Power BI is a data visualization tool and it was developed by Microsoft a few years ago. But it's so much more than just a tool to make pretty graphics. It also allows you to connect to and analyze your data, create stunning and interactive visualizations and dashboards, and you can also share these insights with others in your organization. Power BI is really a great tool that has been developed to help organizations make better data-driven decisions and gain a competitive edge in today's economy. Okay, so how does it work? Well, Power BI is made up of three main components. The first one is the Power BI Desktop, which is a free desktop application that allows users to build and design their reports and dashboards. This is where most projects start and it's where you would connect to your data, make data transformations, and create your visualizations from. The second component is the Power BI service, which is a cloud-based platform that allows users to access and share their reports and dashboards from anywhere with an internet connection. Finally, the third component of Power BI is the Power BI mobile app, which allows users to access and interact with their reports and dashboards on the go. With Power BI, users can connect to a wide variety of data sources, including Excel, CSV files, SQL databases, and cloud-based services like Salesforce and Google Analytics, among many other. As of the time of recording this video, Power BI documentation had over 170 sources that users can connect to right out of the box without needing for custom connectors. All right, here's the kicker for the Avid Excel user. Power BI has Power Query built in so you can take your data and make transformations to it. If you have never heard of Power Query before, be sure to watch our video on what is Power Query. After connecting to your data and making your transformations, users can then use this data to create interactive charts, maps, and other visualizations that help them understand and analyze their data better. All right, so how can this tool help your organization? And believe me when I say this, Power BI can help all organizations out there that aren't currently using a data visualization software yet. Power BI will help your organization build and cultivate a data-driven culture and it offers some key features to achieve on that goal. The first is that Power BI can connect to a wide range of data sources. This allows businesses to access and analyze data from different departments and systems, giving them a more complete picture of their operations. So if you're in sales operations, you can see your sales data as well as you might be able to bring in HR data and combine all of that together. The second is that Power BI allows businesses to create interactive charts and maps and other visualizations as well that help them understand and analyze their data. These visualizations can be shared with others across the organization, making it easier to communicate insights and ideas to a wider range of audiences. Third, Power BI has a range of features that make it easy for teams to collaborate and share insights. Users can publish their reports and dashboards to the Power BI service where they can be accessed by others within the organization. Fourth, because Power BI is connecting directly to the data sources, 
Businesses can set up scheduled updates for reports and dashboards, ensuring that they always have the most up-to-date information. This helps them make informed, timely decisions. Okay, so now that we know what Power BI is and how it can benefit our organization when building and cultivating a data-driven culture, how can we get started on it right now in 2023? Well, my favorite thing about Power BI is how easy it is to get started. If you have a work or a school email account, you can get a free Power BI account right now by going to app.powerbi.com and creating a free account. After you create your free account, you can simply download the Power BI desktop application by typing into Google or whatever search engine you use. Power BI desktop download and following that link. I'll also put these links right here in the description uh, so that you can access them easily. Next, you're ready to start importing some data into the tool. Be sure to check out our video playlist on connecting to data in Power BI to learn how to connect to different data sources in Power BI. After you import your data, you can start using Power BI's drag and drop interface to start creating interactive reports and dashboards. This is a great way to start learning the tool. Once you have created an awesome report with great insights that you wish to share with your colleagues, you can then upgrade to a paid license to unlock all the collaboration features in Power BI service. Oh, and speaking of licensing, here's another awesome thing about getting started with Power BI. If your organization is using Microsoft 365 and they have assigned you the E5 license, then you already have Power BI Pro license that enables you to publish and share reports with your colleagues. So be sure to check in with your Microsoft admin to ensure if you have the E5 license. So this is Power BI. It's an incredible and affordable tool that enables every organization to elevate how they use their data assets to create a competitive advantage. And the best thing about it is that it's so easy to get started. If you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming Power BI videos, including video tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.